No, 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 no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Y'all see the title. Sean Diddy Combs denied bail again. Order to stay behind bars. I said, as this news come out, I'm going to continue to follow it. Y'all know the, the other video I did was him, you know, trying to offer 50 million to, to get out. They said, no, they said he's going to try again. And here we are denied bail again. So th this, this is really bad, really bad. Oh man. So appreciate all the love and support with you guys watching and sharing these videos, man. Cause y'all know we've been waiting to see. We've been waiting to see, man, and we still waiting. So we ain't gonna wait no, <clears throat> waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. And we begin with some breaking news here tonight. Sean Diddy Combs ordered to stay behind bars. His Good. lawyers offered up his Miami home, his mother's home, as well as collateral. Also, he would forfeit his passport, but it wasn't enough to keep him out of jail until trial. Jennifer Bisram inside the courtroom when that judge handed down that decision. Jennifer? Hi, Christine. This was a Sean Diddy Combs' second day in court after those federal charges and after spending a night in a federal lockup. He walked in the courtroom very calm, very confident. His sons were in the courtroom, and at one point, he even blew them a kiss and put his hand to his heart. But just about a half hour ago, the judge denied him bail again, saying if released, he could tamper with evidence and contact witnesses. Now, if you may recall, this music mogul has been... So smart. Tamper with evidence, contact witnesses. Yo, yo, you know if I beat this, I'm going to hook you up. I can hear it now. If you say something, I, I'm going to send somebody after you. I can hear it now. They ain't playing with him. They ain't playing with a sex trafficking, racketeering conspiracy, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Prosecutors argued he's a flight risk and used the term dangerousness today a lot, saying his violence against women went on for decades and he ran an elaborate sex act called Freak Offs. And he had a team who helped him with everything from setting up rooms to supplies. Now, prosecutors also said Freak Off activity is the core of this case. Man. They say the victims and escorts that were presented in this case so far is just the tip of the iceberg. They also argued that if bail was granted, risk of obstruction would be heightened because of Combs's power. And they say just last week, he contacted a witness over 50 times. Now, Sean Diddy Damn. Combs' attorney argued Combs is trustworthy. He had a drug addiction and anger issues and that he went to rehab for that. But he said that they also said that he had a foolproof system for bail. A new security service would monitor Combs 24-7 at his Miami home. He would not have access to internet or phone, so he would not be able to contact witnesses, and he submitted his passport. They say also in good faith, he put his $45 million Miami mansion up, his home up for collateral in the and is in the process of selling his plane. Now at the end, the judge ruled this bail package was insufficient. Listen to his attorney as the attorney left the courtroom just a short time ago. It did not go our way. Um, the fight continues. Uh, we're not we're, we're we're not we're not giving up by a long shot. I told Mr. Combs um, I'm going to try and get his case to trial as quickly as possible. I'm going to try and minimize the amount of time he spends in very very difficult, and I believe in you. You know it's crazy because you know. <clears throat> Yeah, they, they, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty. But, when, you know, when you when you see video footage of what he did and all these stories come out, man, it's like, I just be wondering these lawyers, man, like, I, I know they're going to get paid, but I know they be, I, in the back of their mind, I'll be, I know they be like, God, damn. like he's the lawyer sitting up there. He going to look in there, did he like a thousand bottles of baby oil, you know, like. And they were saying, like, all the people who put him in position of power, because a lot of people were saying <coughs> Diddy's not as rich as it may appears. 
It's just, it's, it gives off this lavish lifestyle to attract people to want that. And once you try to get to the fame, the stuff you got to do to get there, then he got you, you know, because you, you think like, what did he can't, uh, he got to, he got to sell his plane. He got to sell the house. He got to sell his mama house. What about all that money? Hmm. Main uh, housing conditions. And again, Sean Diddy Combs will now remain in federal custody until his trial date. He, he denies all charges. Again, you heard from his attorney just a short time ago. Now, if convicted on those felony charges, he faces 15 years to life in prison. We are live in Lower Manhattan. That's what I'm, oh, sorry. Manhattan. Jennifer Bisram, CBS News. New York. Christine. Jen, I understand while you were in that courtroom, you could actually see Sean Diddy Combs' face. What was his reaction when he learned that he was going to have to stay behind bars? Christine, that's very interesting because he came in very calm, very confident at times. He would look at the attorneys as they spoke and presented their cases to the judge. But when the judge denied him bail again, he was emotionless. So I guess throughout the trial again, throughout the day or the proceedings, rather, he was very, very confident. But that was not the case at the end of these proceedings. All right, Jen, thank you for that perspective and the update today. You can find all of our coverage. 15 years to that's my first time is it i think that's my first time uh hearing a number 15 years to life because when she said when she said 15 years i in my mind i'm like that's it and then she said to life i'm like it's it's really getting real man um It's just one of them things, man, when like, I, I know this isn't a really good comparison, but I, I have to go off this because this was something that uh, I heard about uh, and not that I was a part of, but I work, you know, for the company. But, you know, when you work in retail and, you know, they they have these cashiers a lot of times the cashiers be stealing money from the register right and you know they may take some money and they're like huh, i got away with it then they take a little more hmm. oh i got away with it again and next thing you know this oh this is easy but what they don't know is that they're being watched 24 seven and they're waiting to the money that they're still in to get to a certain dollar amount so they can charge them for it to actually like charge them for something. So I just feel like Diddy's got, Diddy got so comfortable doing all these things knowing things were illegal and all that, but he, he felt like he had all this control, all this power, felt invincible, invincible, like he was never going to get caught. Nothing was ever going to happen. So he started doing more and more, worse and worse. And, and here we are. Here we are. And you know what they do with those cashiers when they catch them, they walk them around the store in handcuffs to do the whole walk of shame thing you know so so this is this the uh being denied bail twice yeah i just feel like there's a lot of people who have been waiting for this a lot of people you know with him going to jail and like if this stuff really stick and he really goes away, a lot more people may may feel safe. You know, the 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 industry may feel a little safer because you got one of their culprits, puppets put away, and maybe the the other ones out there will think twice about what they're doing. Uh I doubt it, because a lot of them are in too deep you know, 
people don't don't understand, man. When you sign your name on that dotted line, they got you. They got you, they got you, they got you. That's why everything, when you look at music videos, you look at all that, everything just looks weird and dark right now. That's what being was being promoted, man. But I just, my advice to anybody out there that's trying to be famous, do it on your own. If the talent is there, you can make it, you can make it. But leave this industry alone, man, because these people, hey, they'll put that money in front of you, front of you, stuff you ain't never, money you ain't never seen, maybe never gonna see. They'll put it in your face. Most people are gonna take it. Cause it can change. Uh it cha the money be changing a lot of people's lives. In in the worst way, though. People don't understand that. So I don't know when this trial is supposed to start, but hearing that 15 to life. Hey, again, appreciate you guys coming over and watching. I'm still going to stay on top of this. I don't know what's next. But hey. Yeah. All right. Peace out.